Alright, hello guys, and welcome to your April 18th Severe Thunderstorm Outlook. Today we're going to be looking at our Day 1 Categorical Outlook, and you can see we do have an enhanced risk there for some of the Gulf states. We're going to start with our General Thunderstorm Risk, and this area usually does not see any severe weather, though we do usually see thunderstorms within this, and it is possible to see severe weather, but this is where we're not expecting it. In the dark green area, we do see isolated reports of severe weather usually, and, and they are quite quite common. So this is where we start to see a little bit more of the severe weather. In the slight region, that's where we usually see some scattered reports of severe weather within this, and we usually expect to see uh, uh, quite a few reports within the yellow area. And then, then in the enhanced area, that's where we expect widespread severe weather for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama today, and a little bit of Florida as well. Uh, that's where it becomes a lot more widespread, and usually most areas within this do see some reports of severe weather, so it becomes, again, a lot more widespread. So we're going to be looking at our individual aspects of severe weather here based on percentages, and this is based on 25 miles from any given location within the regions. Uh, so we're going to be looking at our wind reports first off. Uh, we have 5% chance of seeing severe wind within the brown region within 25 miles of a given location, 15% within the yellow region, and then 30% within the red region there for Louisiana, Florida, Mississippi, and Alabama. We're going to move on to our hail, and this seems to be kind of not very much of a chance today. We do have a 5% chance of hail within the that Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida region, but not too much of a chance for hail today. It's not going to be a big hail day, it doesn't look like. Uh, we do have a 2% chance of, of tornadoes within that green region, a 5% within that brown region, a 10% within that yellow region of again within any within 25 miles of a given location and then a hatched region within that 10% that means we are expecting the potential for EF5 or EF2 to EF5 tornadoes so significant tornadoes that are possible within that hatched region and we're seeing kind of the the ingredients for that to set up so we are looking for the chance again for damaging tornadoes uh, within that region but if you're within any of these regions pay attention because you do have the chance for tornadoes so don't un don't downplay it just because you're not in the hatched region now day two which is tomorrow Friday we have three areas of general thunderstorm risk, one for the Pacific Northwest up there, uh, one for Alabama, Louisiana, and Arkansas, and then one for the entire East Coast there. We do have a marginal risk within that, a slight risk within that, and then an enhanced risk from Florida up through Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Southern Virginia. Uh, again, enhanced is where we get the widespread severe weather reports, so pay attention as tomorrow looks to be pretty bad for with these areas along the Southeast Coast of the United States. Day three. We only have a general thunderstorm risk for portions of Wyoming, Utah, Idaho, Oregon, California, and Nevada, and then one for Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day, and stay safe.